skyline. It's nightlife and beaches today centered around this venue, Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Jason Sanders is out, ready to kick this one away. And here we go from Miami. And this will be a touchback, so we're going to need our first snap to see the first action of this game. All right, let's get this show on the road. It is first and ten. Oh, I get to him behind the line, and he loses the football. And the Dolphins got it. And what a way to begin the scoring, Brock, as they take it back for the touchdown. The Dolphins take a 6-0 lead on their opening drive. Sanders connects on the point after. And the Dolphins will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Still reeling a little after fumbling that away, but they're going to get it right back with this kickoff. And that one bounces through the end zone for a touchback. They're out and set, first and ten. Aguilar, the receiver in motion right. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Wow, they get a big old 32 yards out of that play as well as a new set of downs. Slot man motioned over. Now Jackson off the play action. This is cut by Isaiah Likely. And he runs this to the 25 before being brought down. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Here's Derrick Henry getting it on the ground. And this defense offering no room at all up the gut there. No gain. Stopped by Chop Robinson. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. You want to see the term read and react with a little video in the football dictionary? That's it. Running back sent in motion. Second and ten now. He finds Aguilar. And he gets this down inside the red zone before going out. You know what I love to say? You never go broke taking a profit. And you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, oftentimes it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. Finds Aguilar. And he goes out approaching that 10-yard line. He gets six on that play. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. Pressure coming, it's Jackson. That one is incomplete, couldn't hang on through the contact. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Lamar throwing again. Flush down out to his left. Looking touchdown, but can't connect. And that throw doesn't lead to six. So they're left facing third and long. You know, as you can see here, things broke down a little bit. He tried to find a connection, but he just could not get on the same page. I'll tell you what I do like about that throw, though. He didn't risk an intercept. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Baltimore. The Ravens cut it to a lone point on the scoreboard. Mark Andrews with the touchdown. When you reach the status that he has around the league, Brock, well, we all at this point expect him to be making plays like this when he's targeted down near the end zone. Yeah, I think the best thing I can say about this dude is he makes it look easy a lot of the time. And this game, trust me, is never easy. It speaks to how well he plays this position. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. On the return, here's Tyreek Hill. And he stopped on the return at the 27. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. Look at this, Brock. They're splitting the tackles out wide here. I love a bit of creativity to begin this drive. First give of the game here to Raheem Mostert. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Second and 13. That one's cut along the left sideline. At the 20. There it is. Touchdown Miami. The Dolphins finish off their opening drive. Extra point attempt coming from Sanders. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Dolphins take the lead here, 14-7 in the first. Sanders all set to send it away. And no return as this bounces through the end zone for a touchback. First and ten now from the 30. The drive begins with Henry. He's going to snag a couple of yards, charging up the gut. Tackle made by Jordan Brooks. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. They'll empty the backfield and motion him out. Back at beginning of the second quarter, Ravens in possession. They'll have it second and eight. Out of the gun, here's Jackson. Pocket isn't holding up, they're able to drop it. And that pushes them back, third down coming up. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop, I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth, but a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it, except for this defense. It just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. You know, that was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover and provide the hit that dislodges the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. And it's recovered by the offense, but Brock gets fourth down. And no one with the fumbler can advance it, so this is still going to be a turnover on downs. The touchdown all but gifted to them here as they take over first and goal. They'll run with Moster. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline in his O-line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Hold in by Waddle. Extra point attempt coming from Sanders. The point after splits the uprights. And the Dolphins double their lead to 14. Sanders all set to send it away. And it bounces out of the end zone, so they'll set up shop at the 30. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Let's come in, Lamar. Andrews with the catch. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. 
Second and three now. Play fake. Jackson. Made the throw as he was getting hit block, and it's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. And now they'll face a third and three. And 2-0-1 on the clock. This is going to take us inside the two-minute warning. We've hit the two-minute warning now at Hard Rock. It's the Ravens looking at first and ten. And again, it's Jackson. Little off center, his man just couldn't adjust to it. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. Jackson yet again. Complete Derrick Henry. We'll have him gain about a handful there. Stopped by Chop Robinson. Clock still running as the Ravens try hurrying everyone up. Now Jackson on third down. Gets this one to Andrews. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. That one hits for 30. And that's good for a Ravens first down. Now they'll hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. Aguilar with the grab. And they get this down to the 10-yard line before going down. Give him 13 on that play. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. Again, it's Jackson to the air. He's on the move. Has it in close. And in for the Baltimore touchdown. Well, great work there, Brock. They weathered the storm, and now they've gotten themselves right back into this ball game. Anybody who's played this game has been here before. The game doesn't start the way you want. You're in a big hole, and all you can do is climb out of it. And the words of Pete Carroll resonate. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Only 10 seconds remaining here, so first and 10 may be our last snap of the half. Back to throw it. Buys time, rolling right. Just before halftime, we get a timeout, take it. One last play before the break. momentum-building play for their defense. That's halftime of this contest. We'll join both teams in taking a short break. More of the NFL on EA Sports in just a moment. Well, that first half, certainly an interesting one. Kate Scott, Brock Hewitt with you as we get back and see what the second half has in store for us. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. This return starts at the five. 
Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. Oh, there's no question about it, Kate. That just infuses everybody. A little more bounce in your step now, both in and out of the huddle. And you want to pay off your special teams that set you up for success. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. The drive begins with a run for Moster. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. And he's going to go down right along the midfield stripe. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And it'll be first down Miami. Shotgun handoff for Mostert. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Working quickly here. Two and out from the gun. He beams one deep right up into a crowd and a defender comes up with it. Marcus Williams has it. And the Ravens take over and have it starting out at the 18-yard line. They worked hard to have the halftime lead brought, but now that defense working hard to take it away. Not wasting any time, are they? You know, they love to say about baseball, Kate, baseball's a game of adjustments. So is the NFL, and especially in the second half. You have all that data from the first half. You want to take it all in, and defensively, you want to adjust exactly what they did to take the ball away there to begin the second. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. On first down, Jackson. That's taken in by Henry. And he's able to cross midfield before going out. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket. You can get even more aggressive and take that shot. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. A dose of the hurry-up offense here. First and ten. Here's Jackson. He'll get this to Henry. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. So they'll decline this and take the result. following the penalty has a big hole left that one goes for 15 and now they're gonna have first and goal Kate I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other sure I love that run but I'm thinking about some great running backs in fact Corey Dillon who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw they'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal Connects with Bateman. And the defense waiting for him at the line, and he goes down. Another snap from the eight here. It's second and goal. Lamar now from the gun. Has it in close. Touchdown, Baltimore. So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. The kick is good, so this game now hinging on every possession as we're tied up in the fourth. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. Return starts at the nine. Find some space. He's past the 30. Coverage team tracks him down as the return reaches the 35. Hey, maybe in the end this return just gets lost in the shuffle when we recap things, Kate. But you surrender a lead in the fourth quarter and you feel that momentum being lost. That's exactly what excellent special teams do. They turn it around. It's why that third phase is coached and coached and coached. Because you never know when your opportunity may arise. What a great return to begin this drive. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. Hey, 
They've got a man in motion. Off the play fake. Here's Tunga by Law. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Offense up to the line fast. Looking to throw. He puts some juice on a deep. They connect on the deep shot. The Dolphins take a fourth quarter lead. Tyreek Hill the touchdown. Extra point is good by Sanders. And the Dolphins break that tie and now lead by seven. Sanders all set to send it away. And the kickoff is into and then out of the end zone. Touchback. This drive starting from the 30. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Shotgun snap to Jackson. Bateman hauls it in. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. You know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. Getting out to his left. He tucks it and takes off. Give him eight yards on the play. And that's good for a Ravens first down. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Throwing now. He finds Aguilar. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. That one ends up a gain of six. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. And the slated downs to approach here from the 40. Now to throw. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. No luck finding his receiver that time. And now they face second down. Here he is to throw. Bails out of the pocket quick. And that one's unsuccessful. Looking for the back that time. So now it's going to be third and long. To throw. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. Now the Ravens are going to use the first of their timeouts. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Two timeouts remaining and some time left to use them. It's first and 10. Looking to throw it. Has it down close. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Now with just 10 seconds left in our game, we've got a timeout. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bowling ball. 
They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. He'll look to throw it. That could be it, folks. It's intercepted. The rookie from Penn State makes the play. And the Dolphins make the play that should win them this game. Oh, man, Brock. They decided to air it out in pursuit of a touchdown that time. Intercepted, and the visit to the red zone comes up empty. And that one stings, Kate. It really does. You have a limited opportunity of looks in that close, particularly as we get through the second half. The ones you get, you have to. You have to finish with points. Starting the drive with a little wrinkle in their offense. The tackles spread out wide in the monster formation. Oh, look at this. He's setting up to throw. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. So in the end, it's a Dolphins win here. And finally, Brock, they can exhale and take a few breaths. Because uh, I...